The sign says now hiring, but local officials tell us the Rio Grande State Center is actually in jeopardy of closing. That means over 60 employees would be let go and patients would have to find elsewhere to get treatment. Cruz Ramones is a patient at the Rio Grande State Center outpatient facility. She was involved in a car crash about nine months ago and has been visiting the clinic ever since, trying to recover from a herniated disc and get back on her feet. But with the state looking to trim their budgets, the $12 million state-of-the-art facility built in 2009 might be one of the facilities forced to shut down. It makes no sense to me. I mean, what are all these people going to do? Where are we going to go? I mean, if you don't have employment, how are you going to drive to San Antonio? If you don't have the income to put gas in your car, I mean, this is all we have. Are they really going to take it away from us? Ramones depends on this clinic and state insurance for her recovery. She says it's been the first time in her life she's been unemployed, and if the clinic goes, she's facing tough times ahead. This is my step to getting back on my feet. If they take that from me, what's going to happen? I'm just going to be another person unemployed with no income? Can they really do that to us? The center is located on Rangerville Road in City Commissioner Joey Trevino's District 5. He says the center is the 10th largest employer in Harlingen. He says if this outpatient clinic is closed, it would be a devastating blow to the city. There's over 60 professionals working here and, and the outpatient serves over 5,000 people uh, within the region, not only Harlingen, Cameron County, Willisie County, uh, through the whole region. And Trevino says Harlingen is growing and attracting jobs in manufacturing and retail, but the city thrives on health care. Our success is our medical community. Commissioner Trevino tells us he's in contact with Senator Eddie Lucio Jr. and Representative Eddie Lucio III to try to do something to keep this clinic from closing. Reporting in Harlingen, Daisy Martinez, Action 4 News.